Hey everyone, Dan from On One here. I want to show you how to use the transform pane inside of Develop to correct perspective issues and to level your photos out. So I took this photo here in New York City, and as you can see, there are some perspective problems with it. Not only is there a vertical perspective issue, the building leans back a little bit, you get that foreshortening. That means that these lines here and here get narrower at the top than they are at the base. There's also some going to the right as well. You can see how it also tilts to the right. So we're going to use the transform tool along with the crop tool to correct that. So I'm here in develop. I'm going to click on the show more button and I'm just going to select transform. Transform pane lives down here at the bottom. It contains controls for adjusting the horizontal and vertical perspective. You can also rotate it. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can move it around within the photo's canvas area, and you can also tweak the aspect ratio. So I'm going to show you how I would use it. The first thing I like to do is turn the grid on. There's a grid overlay that you can use to help you look when lines are parallel to each other. So I'm just going to grab that, and I like the 1% grid. That's a very fine, precise grid. There we go. And then the second thing I'm going to do is turn on the crop tool. I like to crop and do my transform adjustments at the same time, because oftentimes I'm going to end up removing stuff from the edges that I don't want. So I'm going to grab the crop tool. You see how the crop tool is now enabled. I get the overlay grid for the crop, which gives me kind of coarse one third lines. But now as I adjust the transform pane, even though I'm still in the crop tool, I can do both at the same time. That's how handy it is then I can make my fine tuning adjustments. So let's start off by correcting that vertical perspective problem. So just grab that vertical slider. And you see as I move it, the grid, that finer 1% grid appears on my photo. If I go to the right hand side to the positive numbers, it's going to lean the building even further back. I want kind of the opposite of that. So I'm going to go to negative numbers. So I'm going to bring this forward. And I'm kind of looking at the width of the door, looking at the top and the bottom until I get it to look a little bit more straight, probably around no minus 30 or so. There we go. So you see now the door looks a bit straighter, maybe even a little bit more. So now I've corrected that vertical perspective problem. Now to adjust the horizontal perspective problem, I can do that with the horizontal slider. So now I'll just tilt that to the right to help correct for the horizontal distortion problems. And at the same time, I can use that crop tool to crop in off the areas that are less interesting in my photo. So I want to make this look a bit more symmetrical. So I'm going to bring these in so that I've kind of got the edges right about there and there. I'm going to bring the top down, crop off some of that light, bring the bottom up just enough to get rid of the white area. Then to level the photo, I can just use the leveling tool right here. Just click and drag a line across something that I know should be level. There we go. You can see that rotated it ever so slightly to fix it. I'll hit the apply button here so that my crop is done. There's my finished photo. I can continue to fine tune it down here in the transform pane if I want to. Maybe I want to tip that horizontal grid just a little bit more. Use my scale. Use the rotation just to correct for that just a little bit. I've turned my grid off, I can turn it back on, and I could also bring the crop tool back to make these adjustments as well. I can also move the photo inside of the canvas using the shift and the rise sliders. So I can move it left or right or up or down if I want to. And with the aspect ratio slider, I can actually stretch it. I can make it a little wider or a little bit skinnier just by adjusting the aspect ratio. It'll stretch it in either dimension that I want. So I'm going to stretch this just a little bit wider. There we go, just like that. Let's take a look at a before and an after. So there's before the perspective adjustment and after. Now this is just the beginning of the transform tools capabilities. We're constantly improving it. Look for even more options coming soon. Thanks for watching.